The DAO hack is the biggest hack in the Ethereum history and created both Ethereum Classic and Quantstem. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris, I'm from Germany and on my channel DYOR, which stands for Do Your Own Research, I mainly talk about cryptocurrency projects. Today, as the title says, I picked Quantstem. What is Quantstem? How does it work? Do I earn anything if I support QSP? And how can I use the QSP service? What's the team behind QSP? What's the current price? And last but not least, what's my personal opinion about Quantstamp? Let's dive right into it and let's find out what is Quantstamp. Quantstamp is a trustless protocol for securing smart contracts. It runs on the Ethereum blockchain, of course. And Quantstamp protocol solves the smart contract security problem by creating a scalable and cost-effective system, cost-effective system, I'm sorry, to audit all smart contracts on the Ethereum network. The protocol consists of two parts, an automated and upgradable software verification system that checks solidity programs, an automated bounty payout system that rewards human participants for finding errors in smart contracts. So, do I earn anything if I support QSP? Mm, yes, you earn something if you are a contributor, a validator or a bug finder. So, the protocol relies here on a distributed network of participants to mitigate the effects of bad actors, of course. So, a participant, which I said already is a contributor, validator and bug finder, and they all earn QSB tokens for taking part in that protocol. Um, a contributor receives QSP tokens as an invoice for contributing software for verifying solidity, solidity programs and the validators earn QSP for running a quantstamp node. Currently the requirement for running the node is 50,000 QSP which is roughly about 500 bucks right now. What I like about um, running a node for a quantum is that it's very easy actually to set up one because the, the how-to, which is available on, the, on GitHub, is very detailed and explains everything very well with pictures and videos. I really like that. And uh, we have also the bug finders here. They earn also QSP as bounty for submitting bugs. So how can I use actually as uh, as um, smart contract project, as blockchain project, project, the QSP service when I want to check my smart contract for bugs? Well, for this they have a platform which is here, which you can open in the web browser at protocol.quantstamp.com and here you just upload your solidity file or you paste the code or you enter a smart contract address then you use metamask you pay in QSP and then you purchase your scan that's it very easy you see also where in the world everywhere where these nodes exist and easy to use I like that but let's continue with the presentation the team behind uh, QSP was founded 2017 in San Francisco USA and CEO and founder is Richard Ma uh, a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Computer Engineering and he founded Quantstamp because he was experiencing the aftermath of the DAO hack first hand. Um, what else I can say about the team is there's no controversial history, so I don't go too far into the 
details and CVs of any of the team members. We just continue with the price. On CoinGecko, we see that currently the price for one QSP is less than a cent. Zero, uh, 0.009 US dollar. What I like again, as usually about such projects, especially in case of a small cap like this, is the circulating supply, the coin distribution. And we see here that the total supply is 976 million and the circulating supply is 713 million. It's a good token distribution, I like that. And we can see here that it's listed on Binance, Huobi, IDEX, Gopax, Gate, IO. Already, it's listed already on very large exchanges. Um, what else? The market cap is eight, uh, not eight million, seven million, and the twenty-four hour trading volume is just ninety-six k. It's well, pretty underrated. Especially if you, th if we see then later, on um, which are the partners, you know, or their customers. So what else do I have here? Technical view of the price. Yeah, a little bit technical analysis, but I'm not such a, I'm not so into in this technical analysis of prices because I'm more a fundamentalist. I use technical analysis mostly for yeah finding in the short term an entry a good entry you know I don't want to buy high so I want to buy low so I use TA to find here a good entry and what can we see here all moving average are above the price I use here EMAs and SMAs and um, w when I look for an entry, then I look, of course, I look for, of course, for uh, a signal, a trending signal. And for me, a signal is when the price is above the 22 moving average. And this is right now not the case. So we can expect as because here we can see already at the 22 moving average this is uh, by the way the exponential moving average that there's a little bit resistance so it could be that we retest then the 93 sats low and um, I, if I would look now here for an entry then I'll wait until I would wait until the price would go clearly above 100 sats and in a, that the daily candle closes above 100 sats. That's what we don't see here right now, so I would still wait, of course. This is not a financial advice, by the way, but this is just the way how I would do it, you know. I just wanted to introduce this to give you a bit more um, about what I do to find uh, more information about how I find my best entry for a project. Um, Quantstamp is definitely on my radar but right now I'm still not invested in it, into it. Well let's continue with the PowerPoint presentation and what's my personal opinion about Quantstamp? Um, automated audit, audit, auditing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm German. I have some minor problems with the pronunciation of some English words. Well, automated auditing of smart contracts. Well, it's of course a cheaper way to secure the blockchain. And. Um, that's good because actually it's very expensive and this would be a faster way. But of course, it doesn't replace um, fully, or yeah, it doesn't replace fully mon manual audits. 
and um, currently they have a long list of uh, currently yeah right now they have a long list of uh, customers of hopefully satisfied customers which are for example Chainlink, Maker, Ultra, Omisigo, OneChain and Binance. Um, that sounds good, it sounds very reliable so and what I also like is that this um, project is not just a white paper project you know it really has a working product already um, what's good and bad is that it's listed already on Binance Huawei and Gate and these listings had no actually no effect to the price if we go back to the chart and then we zoom out And what we see here is actually the pressure, the sell pressure of the LA investors, of course. And then we reached the all time low at around uh, why so complicated? Let's look at Coin Gecko. All time low was point zero zero eight cents US dollar two months ago um, yeah but these listings of on Binance and so on as we just saw here had no effect there were no big pumps like that it goes up like crazy I think it has rather uh, it had rather a negative effect so that it actually just um, speed up the downtrend you know so, what do I expect actually for the future for Quantstamp in case of the price? It is possible to 5x to or up to 30x within the next two years. Um, why? Because there is an ongoing rapid growth of, block of blockchain projects and these secure the existence and growth of QSP. Um, Right now, blockchain projects and cryptocurrencies they grow like yeah, like wheat in the garden, you know, and um, this means it's a good environment where projects like QSP can grow. So, five x is definitely in. A thirty x is also definitely possible, especially in a in a upcoming bull run. As usually, I end with the bull run. Um, yeah, that's all for now for QSP. Um, if you have any more questions about it, ask it in the comments down below. And if you liked it, leave a like. It helps me a lot. So, that's all for now. See you next time. Thank you.